China, back, you know, in beatbox, in beatboxing, you think like, if I put like this amount of time in something else, mm -hmm. this dedication, probably I can end up like unlocking something else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just repeating the same process pretty much. Exactly. Like, uh, for example, in 2022, uh, no, 2022, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I was just doing breaking. Mm -hmm. Um and I was getting ready for uh, for the um, for um, I was in the Italian team getting ready for the European Championship for the Olympics. Mm, as you do, as one does, of course, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> but then I separated my shoulder. I go injured and I couldn't compete anymore in what? the Olympics uh, situation. So I no. had to to leave the Olympic field <gasps> uh, because I'd been out for six months. So I lost uh, the the European qualification and I lost the Italian uh, national yeah, championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but in the time that was injured, I started to to kind of say, okay, I need to unlock other skills. Yeah. So yeah. I start to unlock uh, skills in uh, softwares. Yeah. Skills in, like in social media. I start to like take care of a lot of my social media and mm -hmm. it blow up so much. Um, yeah, yeah. You, your social media is crazy. It, like that's because I I dedicate time. You know, like he, he, I said, okay, I can dance, but I can probably unlock something they're gonna need later. So like it's always it's it's the same thing when uh, I was in COVID time and I said okay there is nothing to do so I'm gonna move to London and learn English, mm. you know like if if you have like if you think like you have a time that you can use like in a certain way or like you don't know how to use it just like you need just a switch. Street Culture TV. <laughs> Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct. Central London, or as central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. Be shout out to all the sharers and carers, uh, people that have been there. Uh, spotting the podcast from the jump um, and been looking after all of our needs in the world of street culture. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play-to-earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Uh, street culture has uh, got a new generation of uh, breakers, b-boys, b-girls and uh, it goes with great pleasure for me to introduce to you one of the running stars, the forerunners of the trailblazing movement at the moment, somebody that does not take any prisoners on the floor, most definitely Italian's number one and one of the uh, British and international finests, yes, the awesome solid inside the place. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the biggest introduction ever. Hey. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, we ain't pleased here with the How are you? I'm good. I'm very good. Like yeah. we, we said the weather is not great, but like here there is a good vibe. So like we're going to go. <laughs> yeah, it's a good vibe. It's a bit hot in here actually. Are you hot? Yeah. It's hot than the sun in here. <laughs> I've been drinking like a lot of water <laughs> since <laughs> I came here. Yeah, I'd say so. Well, that, that's kind of part of the remit of, of a, of a, of a B-girl, right? Like keeping healthy. Keeping mm -hmm. hydrated, yeah. Keeping active, is that a, is that a general thing that you have to keep on top of? I mean, it's it's more about like, like how you wanna really uh, live and what's your what's your lifestyle look like. Yeah. Of course, if you if you wanna maybe push like more in a, in a competitive kind of kind of side, maybe you you treat yourself a little better. So mm. you make sure like you exercise, you practice, you drink water, you eat well. Really, so, hold on, so what? <laughs> Give me an example of a time that, because I can't imagine Solid ever being just like, I'm just going to go and get McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like I went to McDonald's, I think, only once with my family here since I live in London. <laughs> really? <laughs> like I never go. Really? Can't never. do it. Can't do it. What's happened? Just out of curiosity, what happens when you eat junk food? Do, do you feel, ugh. I feel very bad. Like my belly like is... Uh, it's really? so in pain. Yeah. To, to, to what degree? Like what? Like you, you, you're out for the count. You can't do anything for a couple of days. No, no, no. I mean, like oh, I'm also like quick uh, reactive. So like maybe I'm gonna go practice or like something. But like I feel the difference in my body. Really? You know, like so if I I know what give me power even mentally, like and what what give me see, like uh, weakness. I love it. Let's stick with that for a second. So, um, you say for instance, all right, you you get uh, a virus or a bug, um. Or you eat something that maybe you didn't really need to at the time. You'd been out partying, do you know what I mean? A couple of shots down the line and <laughs> no I mind. don't drink alcohol. I <laughs> okay, so these these are all examples. Okay, so no alcohol neither. But if you do have that, like um your body must be like really in tune 
to be able to navigate around that? Because that's that's a level of stamina that you've created. Um, no, I'm still human, so like I get like viruses and stuff, and uh, with with food, I'm uh, sometimes I'm uh, sensible. Like maybe I I got like some poisoning sometimes as well. Really? Like yeah, like if the food is not is not really good, like my body like is like. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> uh, but like yeah, viruses as uh, a lot. But maybe because uh, I mean having a healthy lifestyle, maybe like I I get rid of it quickly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You kind of flush it through real yeah. quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where some of us who just you know who don't do the sorts mm-hmm. of things that you do would probably just you know hang themselves for three days. Thinking. Yeah, but it's also because it's it's uh, sometimes it's also mental. Like if uh, you think, oh no, I'm so bad, it means that like no, you have to to heal up quickly. You have to go to practice. So yeah, like yeah, yeah. you're just gonna go. <laughs> Your life must be really quick like that. <laughs> like London is also very quick, so like you have to be very quick. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I have a quick lifestyle. <laughs> Real fast. Quick, yeah, yeah. Because uh, you came, you you were only like what maybe four or five minutes late, but you'd already said you'd done like God knows how many things in the day. Like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wake up very early and I go to sleep like I try to don't go to sleep late, but I go to sleep late. <laughs> really? Yeah. Jilu, she she downs coffee like no one's business. I like coffee. I like coffee, and uh, my my best friend likes coffee, so we uh, we all we always end up drinking coffee before practice, like in the afternoon before the second session. Good mm, enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, we are we like we like coffee, not some Italian. Come on. Of course, yeah, yeah. Of course, we were the professional that understands coffee, <laughs> right? That's the deal. Um, okay, so in those in those scenarios, like where you get up super early in the morning and you go to bed super late at night, is there like a, a an element of burning candles where you, you your training may sometimes suffer depending on the time of day if i train yeah um like in terms of my my sleep pattern influence my training you mean yeah like if for instance if you it may be two o'clock between two and three is a really sleepy time if you've not had a lot of sleep um, I have the sleepy time around 8 p.m. 8 p.m. But it's also the time where I have to to go to practice in the evening. That's why, like, I'm I'm just like switching mm. things around. So I'm, I rather practice in the morning. Mm. I wake up early and I practice early, and then in the afternoon, if I have to, if I need a second, if I want to do a, like a second session, mm. uh, instead of waiting until 8 or 9 p.m. like to to practice because we all practice like in uh, in the studio uh here in london and it's mm. always available around 8 8 30 in the evening but if i wake up like this early like mm. it's huh. yeah yeah but that can sometimes it that can be sometimes good can't it because if you're training early in the morning and late in the evening then you're working with the time zones in which you would may potentially be breaking yeah that's so cool yeah 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 like it's also good in in this case. Sometimes, if I have like an early session, then I sometimes I can rest there in the day to get to then have a good second session in the mm. evening. It depends. Like it depends about the days, what I do, if I'm teaching, if I'm working, if uh, uh, I'm traveling. It depends. Wow, traveling, teaching, everything. Um, how do time zones affect? Because we're talking about international B girl here. Do you know what I mean? This ain't your run of the mill fucking podcast. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, what's it like training and going and doing events with the time difference, the jet lag? Mm. That must be crazy. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if people are over exaggerating these things about the jet lag, but like until now, I didn't feel it. But also, I'm very young. Mm. So, like, maybe I don't have all this, um, this. I don't see that jet lag like this affect me this much. No, you're not the only one that says that. And, and I agree with you. Uh, my old friend David Ross, you know, who's, mm-hmm. who's a little bit older than you, he says the same thing. He's mm-hmm. like, oh, it's just an imagination. It's not real. I think people complain too much. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, yeah, like, of course, uh, we, are, we are all tired. Maybe the only thing is that we are tired because of the long flights. Mm. But once you arrive in a new place, you are just so excited to just go and do stuff and yeah. maybe see your people uh, like you know other countries in other uh, places and you 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 don't feel tired no i mean i don't feel tired i never felt tired it's excited isn't it it's excited yeah i'm excited yeah i feel that i get that too sometimes but i'm i'm very quick to you know i'm, I'm easily persuaded with a bottle of beer as mm-hmm. soon as you land somewhere yeah mm-hmm. like you don't you don't you're teetotal you don't you don't do any alcohol no that's a that's that's quite a heavy discipline. <laughs> I just like I I feel lucky that I don't like it at all. It's yeah. not that I I try to be disciplined and don't drink. Yeah. It's that I don't I I don't even like the smell. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
really? Mm -hmm. So not like an, an Italian wine or nothing? No. Could, <laughs> I prom I promised to my friend that if uh, I'm gonna get invited to 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 the world final in Red Bull, I'm gonna have a, a wine with her. Really? Yeah, I promised. <laughs> it. <laughs> it was like, okay, we need a challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like when I think of Italy, I think limoncello. You know, that limoncello. Stuff, yeah, that it's proper from really... the south, from yeah. where I come from. Yeah, yeah, really. So, okay, so you're originally from the south of Italy? Yeah, from Calabria. Tell tell me a story. What, what was your What was your childhood like? What was it like growing up there? So, like, I come from uh, uh, Calabria is my region, but, like, my city specifically is Catanzaro. Um, they basically the capital of, of uh, Calabria, of the region. Wow, really? um, and I grew up, like, on a um, different, different like, uh, uh, reality this year because uh, my city is, like, uh, all, like, good weather, <laughs> <laughs> like, beach, like, it's all, like, the sea. Like, uh, so I grew up, like, in, in this kind of town. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, a, it's a very chill place. Um, but in confront to London, like London has maybe opportunities, like mm. uh, I'm more motivated here. So like that's also one of the reasons I moved. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, limoncello, these things like in, in, in Italy, especially in the South, like our grandmothers, moms, like they like to do homemade stuff, mm. you know? So like, for example, my grandmother, like on, on a Sunday, like she will make like the limoncello, she will make like the cake, she will mm. make stuff. Pasta, like homemade, everything homemade. I, 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 I went to an Italian wedding once, mm. heavily Catholic. We were there for hours, hours yeah. and hours and hours. But the food was equally as long and yeah. amazing. And it was just, it, it was almost like such a welcoming, inclusive event. Mm. That's how I think of South, South of Italy. Yeah, like all these uh, celebrations, they start like around 12, let's say, until maybe 6. So you don't, <laughs> you don't leave the table until like it's night. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. a very heavy, sociable thing. Yeah, all the, all the celebration. It might be Christmas, it might be like Easter, it might be like all these things. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's a lot of calories. <laughs> but like, yeah, that's how we celebrate, especially like, I don't want to say just in the South, but like in all, like in general like in Italy, but like in the South, maybe it's more traditional. Mm. Like to really like stay with all the family. That's actually the thing they miss the most from Italy, like my family and the, the festivity with my family. Of course. There's things that you, that are inherent in your life growing up that you identify yourself with. And when they're not there, of course, there's loads of amazing things around you mm -hmm. in a new city, but nothing compares to the feeling of, I don't know, the smell of the air in the morning, cut grass and yeah. the sun's on it and you're yeah, in your home. I definitely miss the sun. Definitely. Definitely miss the sun. I'm, I'm lucky on a side, like I miss my family, but mm. on the other side here in London, I have three brothers with all... Oh, with done. kids, uh, like uh, my sister-in-law. So we are actually a family even here. Oh, I don't. have a family in Italy, a family here. So they're based in London? Yeah. Um, we are all here and uh, I'm glad because having a, a family in, a, in like close to you is important. Mm. Like for your growth is like it's important. And I mean, like you feel like you have a family. You know? Yeah, yeah. There's a solid uh, Italian community in, in uh, London as well. Oh, so is, much. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, around here, it's mostly like Portuguese and Brazilian. Yeah. You know, so the relationship, I think, with Mediterranean uh, communities, I think, is super key for the, you know, the diversity of a city, right? Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, you are the south. What's the nearest city to you in the south of Italy? Uh, that you probably could know, that it, like the region next to mine is Sicily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the little island. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not little. Uh, or Puglia, like it's all the south, and all the south is beautiful. If you want to go for for holiday in the summer, it's just to the south. Yes, yeah, see, <laughs> and yeah. we're not biased. No, not at all. <laughs> Even if I'm biased. See, for case. all of those holiday recommendations, go to killerkeller.com. That's the one. <laughs> um, how did you get into breaking? So basically, uh, I was doing ballet before. Ah. Uh, I started ballet when I was uh, maybe eight or nine. I'll type to all the ballet crew, you know, you are going. <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's an amazing art, and I think it should be in the Olympics. I don't know why. Ballet? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually very hard. Like any, anything that you want to do on extreme level, like, like it deserves this kind of attention. Oh, it's ridiculously yeah. tough. That's why like, I'm happy that breaking is actually in. Uh, but um, anyway, yeah, um, I started when I was around like nine, and, um, and I remember that around 12, when I was um, 
when I was like close to to a beach area in my city, like a seaside seaside kind of area, I saw my first teacher. Like he was so cool. He was so cool. He was like listening hip hop. He was dressing all baggy. He was uh, like doing air flare, and I was like. Mm, that's so cool what is this sorcery yeah I didn't even think I didn't even think oh I want to do air flare I was just seeing how he was looking cool yeah. like he was just cool like the way they was moving the way the way they was the, the fact they was listening hip hop he was just looking so, something that I wanted to do yeah 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 like yeah, yeah. it was this is cool like I, I can see this like they really like an mm. interest and um, so like then I left the uh, ballet and stuff and I start to 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 learn maybe pop, popping, locking, mm. uh, uh, later on breaking when I was 13. Really? So yeah. how old were you when you saw your teacher for the first time doing what he was doing? Well, I was 12. Like was after 12. one year when I discovered like all this, all, all the things they was doing, yeah, like yeah. I was like maybe <sighs> breaking. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Like I, all it takes is one person. All it takes is one person yeah. to flick yeah. a switch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like literally, it was a switch. Like of, of also, there were all the people with him. Like he was just looking cool. That they were all dancing, ciphering, and it was, mm. it was wow. Like people like uh, doing footwork, and it was cool. Uh, people that they were spinning on the head, and it was cool, and it was wow. Like all these people are training, or like it, w- it was looking cool, and it, and it looked like um, welcoming. Mm, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Compared to ballet, <laughs> yes, exactly. We I left ballet for the, for the exact for this reason. Like mm. he wasn't welcoming at all. I felt mm. like I I had to really try hard to be welcome. Yeah, you know, like instead, like breaking was so welcoming and it, and it felt so good for just freedom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt like it's my place. Like I don't even need to try. This my place. Yeah, but yeah. because you because it's quite like almost like military the way ballet teachers are mm. it's like you you know you just everything from the position you got to be standing <laughs> my girlfriend she was in ballet so i know all oh, about okay. it. Like, yeah, <laughs> Kels, how do you know so much about ballet i was like what <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i know all about that so i guess transferring that discipline to breaking well you're almost like you excel in regiment and being able to focus isn't it mm-hmm uh so it's actually for me sometimes it's so surprising because uh, it took me just uh, like more than one year to just learn uh, simple things like even like uh, just how to to hold the position on the head you know like uh, I was looking I was like seeing kids doing it I was like I could never do it but it looks cool you know I never been discouraged though like I never I never was like oh my god maybe like I have to leave it's not for me or whatever it was mm. like I can't but I like it. <laughs> you know, so I was always interested, like in maybe I should try, even though like I'm I'm not like good, like I should. <laughs> What's your star sign? I'm Taurus. Taurus, you always been aggressive. You got aggressive in your performance. It's almost like step into the ring. It's like on. <laughs> I'm grounded. I'm grounded as a person. Like I, I'm really like uh, you. Um, if I wanna. Um, get something I really like, even though like it's gonna take me ages. I. W- I see, like, uh, they, I'm going to go for it. Oh, so you you think things through to the point where you can do it. It's almost like a stu- you study. I'm determined. Determined. I have, like, uh, I'm patient for for mm. stuff. Mm. Like, if I want something, like, okay, I'm going to maybe, like, it, it's going to take me, like, this long, but, like, I'm going to work on it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What, what kind of... What kind of things have you done in the past that you say to yourself, "Wow, I can't believe I managed"? Because, like you say, you 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 want to perfect it. You want it. You want it to be right. You 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 won't stop until it's done. Mm-hmm. Has there ever been anything? Whether it's like a particular genre of music or a type of uh, battle that you had, has anything ever thought you thought to yourself, "Wow, how am I going to do that?" So many things. First cool. of all, like even when I start, okay, I can start from like simple, simple things. Like even like thinking that now I can spin on my head, for example. When I actually, like, when I was when I was a kid, for me, it was impossible, like, to, to even, like, see, like, people huh? standing on the head or, like, me trying. Like, huh? I was just crashing, but trying again, crashing without even understanding, but I was trying, <laughs> yeah. trying, trying, trying. <laughs> like, and now, like, thinking, wow, I always, like, now it looks so easy, but, like, the way until here, it, it was, like, a lot. It was a lot of years. Or, like, 
uh, speaking English as well. Mm. Like always wished and always dreamed about like to- speaking English mm. because in Italy I wasn't speaking English. I learned English when I moved here. Uh-huh. Uh, so like wow. thinking about it, then now I can connect and uh, for example, I can have the podcast with you, yeah, you yeah. know, and you understand me and I even though like, okay, I have my Italian accent, maybe sometimes like it's not very clear, like I can still uh, have in a conversation and mm. until three years ago, I couldn't. <laughs> That's, that is a, a champion of nature in itself. <laughs> I think what people misunderstand, or rather take for granted, is when people... We've all been there, actually, because we all go... We tour around the world, and you have these moments of, like, wow, it's almost like fight or flight. Mm-hmm. And I guess for you, landing in the UK, not knowing a single... Well, culturally, but even the, the language. Mm-hmm. To excel in that... You kind of get that mentality of like, well, if I can do this, I can do anything. Definitely. But also, like, I mean, if, if, uh, um, if, um, I don't know, for real, if we do crazy things like in, uh, in breaking, I guess, like, and, and, uh, anyway, like, I'm not the first person who learned how to speak English. Mm. If uh, you can do it, why I can do it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. For, for real. Like, we all can do stuff. Like, they're all, they're not like, uh, unnatural. Mm-hmm. So it was okay. It's gonna take me a lot because anyway, I'm starting from almost zero. But like, is it my is it my goal? Yes, because mm-hmm. I moved here to improve my English. Actually, mm-hmm. uh, during COVID time, actually. Ah, nice. Yeah, good timing. Yeah, because everything was just like yeah. blocked, like always uh, everything paused. Like so, I said, you know what? Maybe for a couple of months, I'm gonna move to London mm-hmm. because my brothers were all here, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna stay with them and uh, practice English. Like I'm gonna use this. Time to Time. learn something. Yeah. Yo, that is so sick. Until I decided, until I called my mom and I said, actually, maybe I might not come back. <laughs> really? What did yeah. she, What did they say? What did your family in Italy say when, when you were like, ma, pa, <laughs> I ain't coming home. <laughs> so basically, uh, I always dreamed to move in London yeah. some, for some reason. Anytime I come to visit my brother, I came to visit my brother. I always like thought I was, uh, oh, I was looking around and I was so amazed I was oh like I mm. wish I could live here desire you know? yeah desire. yeah because it's uh it's, it's nice especially if you're a tourist it's like so nice like yeah. to see everything going around like experiencing so many things and seeing so many dancers because mm. in my city maybe there are not so many mm. um and um and then like nothing and then it happened and uh um, I remember there was a time before moving that was saying to my mom, I will move to London, I might move. And she was like, yeah, yeah, of course, you, you will never move. Because she knows that actually, like in, in Italy, I was fine. Like I was practicing, I was, uh, I, I had my mom, I had my grandmother, like I had everything that I needed, mm-hmm. like for my interest. Mm-hmm. Um, but she never told that I was actually going to move and live my, my, my life, mm. you know? Uh, but then I just booked the ticket and I sent it to the group chat of my family. Really? My brothers, they were like all clapping. Yeah, finally. And then my mommy, she came back home and she was like, are you seriously? Right. And she was What upset. did she say? What did she say? Of course. She was very upset. My mum and dad have this uh, connection <laughs> that, um, yeah, they just get upset, don't they? Yeah, but because maybe I'm, I'm also like the little one, I'm the only female. Uh, so they, my mom felt like... Um, I'm losing her as well. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So it, Was that a hard time? For her, yes. Yeah. But like, she uh, she understood anyway. Now, mm. anyway, she see like the result. Like, she's happy for me. You know? Yeah, every cloud has a silver lining. I mean, mm. like, now you're just internationally regarded. I'm happy like they, they kept pursuing this, you know? Yeah. Um, did that, did that, did not risk, because it was never going to be a risk, because your talent and work ethic pushed you forward. But was there even in the back of your mind this suggestion that because because you're making such a bold move leaving Italy, mm-hmm. did that raise the expectation level of um, of you? Where you thought, right, I've really got to do this now because I'm I'm literally going live on my own. Um, at the beginning when I moved here, uh, I wasn't. Talk, I wasn't thinking about it. I, I took like these two months just to, to really focus on speaking English. Mm. Uh, at the beginning, I wasn't even living in central London. I was living in Watford. 
Ah. And in Watford, there is like nothing. <laughs> there is no one. Think of all the Watford crew, but yeah, that is the truth, isn't <laughs> I'm it? Sorry, but like there is nothing. Zone like, seven you know? is a long way away from central London. Carry yeah, on. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like really like there is no like yeah, a dense big community. Yeah, yeah, big up Watford. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's, there is no like a dense community or whatever. So I was really like focusing on uh, like uh, say, spending time with, with my brother, which I couldn't do it before. Yeah. So for me, it was a reconnection with my brothers. Mm. Um, Speaking English, so try to hang out with, I don't know, people like in a restaurant or like at the pub, like yeah. having a coffee or anything. Um, and um, and I was practicing a little bit, but like um, it wasn't uh, the main focus at the time because I need, I really, really tried to, to, to improve my English. I was trying hard. I remember that I was uh, meeting people oh. and I was uh, messaging them like, can you come here at the pub? Like I offer, you, I offer you a beer if you talk to me. Like I was literally like spending the day like this. Oh, you must have got <laughs> enough people drunk. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I mean like in the in, like in pubs, like you yeah. find a lot of people that they just want to sit there and have a beer and yeah, talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So for me, like even like um, very old people, I was fine. Like just like let's talk. Yeah, 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 I need yeah. like to really improve because I'm gonna leave in September. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like two months. <laughs> There was this trick that one of my friends from Germany once said to me, I can't remember who it was, but they said that when they learned English, what they had to do, well, what they chose to do was was get their favourite movie that was in German subtitles and just repeat watching it in English. Because mm. they kind of knew what the storyline is, they knew what the real words were for them, but they were watching in in um, English. But you know what was the issue said with me is that I don't watch... I don't watch TV. I don't watch movie at all. So mm. for me, it was like I I used to listen a lot of songs and learn them like mm. with the lyrics, Spotify, like ah, reading okay. them and and singing it all the time, um, and then just trying to speak. But the problem is that when I moved here, the the British accent is way way more difficult than just uh. like. I don't know, the American songs or whatever. Yeah, for sure. When I moved here, you, it, it sounds like so different. You yeah. cut a lot of words and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You have your, your kind of slang. And, mm. and I was like, what's going on? Like, yeah. it's, it's totally like another English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're straight in, you know, you're, you're straight into the, the grit. Watford. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It was hard. <laughs> so are you in northwest, east, south London now? No, uh, like central. Central. Boom. Yeah. Central. Um. What kind of music influenced you growing up? What kind of music are you into dancing now? So when I started, I really loved funk uh -huh. and hip hop. Nice hip hop a lot. Um, that's how, also how I, how I met like my my first teacher. Mm -hmm. It was just looking cool, mm -hmm. and I like him listening to all this music. I started to download so much music mm -hmm. since I started. I start to know because I didn't really know a lot, a lot about hip hop before. No. But when I started to to dance with him, I start to know like about I don't know Buster Rhymes, <laughs> like all these things. I was so so ignorant like in terms <laughs> of hip hop, and uh, I loved the funk, and it's still like one of my favorite kind of kind of style mm -hmm. Ra rap and funk are my favorite i'd nice. say they're the one that makes me vibe the most why is that why because you're not the only one i think and, and, and for all the right reasons breaking as an art form is fundamentally hip-hop and in 2024 it has space to diversify a lot because the people's impressions of hip-hop is personal mm -hmm. you know i like this sort of music and this sort of music but it's all within the hip hop kind of street culture genre. Um, why do you think it is it though that hip hop is such a fundamental in twenty twenty four such a fundamental part of the dance? Well, like even in terms of lifestyle, like you you see like something and it looks hip hop, in my opinion. Mm. Um, well, everything is in like it's in it's in our it's in our uh, society. You especially like. I don't want to say especially London, but like see, I can see like the difference bet between Italy and uh, and UK. Mm -hmm. Like there is more uh, hip hop in the streets, even like I don't know people walking, mm -hmm. or like the culture that is different here. There is uh, ethnicity and uh, the way they like they just uh, the way to live is mm. more hip hop. Yeah, it is, but isn't then it? Uh, like maybe like Italy, there's more more. Um, I don't know, more classic, mm. you know? 
uh, here, like, you can brief it more. Like, even when uh, people from uh, other countries, they come to visit me, mm-hmm. like, they, they say it to me anytime, like, you, he, like they, they can brief, like, Mori Pop. Like, really? you you can see it, like, in the streets, you can see, like, in, like, even, like, in, a, in bad situations, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, you can see it more. Yeah. When actually, maybe in Italy, you don't see, like, so many bad situations, like, as a maybe, like, you can see it. Um, just, like, it's more uh, evident. Yeah. Yeah, people uh, like they they just dress like as they want. Mm. They they there is more music in the streets. Uh, there are more um, uh, events, jams, uh, like mm. uh, more situation in pubs. Like even the events they organize. Yeah, you know? street culture HQ. Come on, exactly. Which like, you've been slamming as well, killing. That was nice. Yeah, that was heavy. nice. Yeah. That was nice. Like like you you need situations like that, I guess. Uh, where well, you just go, like you meet people that they do your same things and you have fun for uh, like, uh, for like, I don't know, 30 minutes that you cipher, like mm. it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. So you're saying it, that it's not widely created in South of Italy. It's not like, it's not like there's one on every, in every town or. Every... It's not in every town. Yeah. It's not in even in every, in every country. Really? Yeah. Like I d- there are no, all this situation all around because I mean, like, and it's not just me saying it. It's like people coming, uh, the that they come like to London. They come mm. to visit me. Mm. They say they see like around and they're like, oh, that's cool. Like that, that's like it's different. You know. Sometimes you um, you put it out to the universe, don't you? That you wanna, you know, I want to live like that, mm. because something just don't quite sit right with you. In as much as you love it, the place you grew up ain't always gonna serve you, right? Yeah. That's the the another reason why I moved here. There are so many opportunities, even like in terms of career, like just the way the um, the I like to to live more as mm. well. Like I like the fact that also London is so <laughs> fast. It's so fast. Like you you can do so many things. You wake up, you you can do like so many things instead of just living in a city where nothing is happening. Is is nice mm. because like is a there is like. A good weather, good food, like mm. you enjoying the time, like and chilling. But maybe like in twenty, thirty years, like I would be fine to live there. Yeah, again, okay, you know? okay, okay. So apart from uh, coffee, <laughs> Watford, um, <laughs> what do you like to do that isn't breaking? Give us something that like you really love, and not a lot of people know about it. Then not a lot of people know. Okay, <laughs> like, because a lot of people don't know because I'm, you know, I'm very active, like even on social media and stuff. So I'm, I, I like I kind of post like what I do during the day. Mm-hmm. Like maybe I wake up, like oh, I go for a run, or, like I do CrossFit. Uh, um, I teach. Uh, I have a business. Do you? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> yeah, because my. Um, I'm very attached to one of my brothers in particular. Okay. <clears throat> and with him, we decided to have a business together. So like all my brothers, they, they, they are like business owners. Okay. And now uh, with one of them, they are more attacked with, we decided to open one together. They, he was already uh, kind of like uh, creating uh, by himself. He, he was starting to, <clears throat> he, he did like the kind of startup. Uh-huh. And um, and then uh, we start to collaborate and and gain business together. So can we can we indulge in what the business is? It's a it's a business of uh, toppers. Do you know like the toppers that you put like on top of drinks, for example, that you can personalize. For example, making a toppers with like I don't know your name or like street yeah street culture. Uh, it's it's called cocktail toppers pro. Stop it. And it comes because my brothers have. Um, the um, businesses in uh, in cocktails events, right? Um, so like from there, because it was kind of trendy, it is actually still trendy. Like he, he told me, we have to open this business. Like it's gonna it's gonna go well. And I'm coming from there. <laughs> I'm coming from like the office, and uh, I was oh. uh, I was making some orders because now it's it's going like it's faster. going really well. It's going faster. It's yeah. going faster. <laughs> and you you don't drink. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> so have we drink. tried the have we tried the toppers? The toppers are uh, edible toppers. It's like just a uh, uh, kind of paper. a brand, yeah. And you yeah. Just, so just like what you would have on like s- sweets, candy, anything. Yeah, it's like even the one that you can have on um, on cupcakes. Uh-huh. You know, they are all edible. Really, <clears throat> sugar. Yeah. yeah, no, it's uh, rice. It's rice. rice. Yeah. <sighs> what? <laughs> yeah, this... like yeah, man. I love see stories like that. I love. <laughs> Do you know what I mean like thinking ahead? Mm-hmm. Just other ways of generating money. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this, like is something they always like to do. To be fair, like uh, always having uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of options. You know, like not always sticking with one. Like for as much I can, I can love breaking. Like he will. Um, and I'm pushing like he's my purpose. He's 100%. like he's like my yeah. dream. I wanna I wanna get there. I wanna like have uh, this this and that. So I'm also like passionate in discovering what what it can be. Like there's no even breaking or maybe related to breaking, but just something else. Like it can be okay. I'm a dancer, but maybe I can teach or maybe I can shoot yes, yes. or maybe I can work with brands or yeah, maybe like I can do social media. Yeah. Like it's all related to breaking. To be fair, yeah. and uh, this thing is more related to my family. To uh, in the, the fact of uh, the the business. Yeah, it's it excites me the fact of having a business with my brother. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most must be the most exciting thing ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And making it work together. It's a proper family thing. And mm. we 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 are very, very connect. Mm. Uh so it, it's kinda like it, it motivates me. Mm. Even though it's not connected at all with my lifestyle, it really motivates me. But you know what though, Solid, um, and I can speak, you know, as a beatboxer. Um and I, I guess it's only more recently that breaking has been taken to that next stage of maturity being at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. You know, before then it really was like you're kind of you're, you're a breaker and you're a part of a scene mm -hmm. and an amazing scene a bit like beatboxing um but one thing that i think these two genres have in common is you know to have a skill like either of us have more so you and your calling card as a person is you're really good at breaking like that's the door opener to anybody with the the that wants to pursue any profession with a, a level of integrity and uniqueness. Mm -hmm. You know, when I said before we started, everyone needs a beatboxer friend. Yeah. Well, everyone needs a breaker friend as well. That's <laughs> why I did say that. But I said it, but I, I say that because um, once you've, once you've hit that top level of what you do, then you can do anything. Do you know what I mean? Cause it's your personality mm -hmm. that sells. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Like when you create like your brand, uh, you think like you can uh, put it like you know also other, other faces of uh, stuff. Hmm. Like, um, maybe I don't know. You don't need to to really build. Uh, I don't know your uh, your CV because maybe you say hi, nice to meet you. Like this is me. Hmm. You no, know? like because like people they know the brand. Yeah. Um. Or like. Um, you get like the confidence on uh, believing that you can do other things because like you you already like see the the success that you had in something. Yeah. So you say like why not doing this? Why not doing that? Like it's possible. Like you can see things being like you you see like that you can make things happen. Yeah. You know, uh, of course you have to dedicate time and you have to 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 put the work. Mm. But like you know already because you've been doing it before as well. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if uh, you reach a certain level in a break, you know, in beatbox, in beatboxing, you think like, if I put like this amount of time in something else, mm -hmm. and this dedication, probably I can end up like unlocking something else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just repeating the same process, pretty much. Exactly. Like, uh, for example, in two thousand twenty-two, uh, no, or twenty twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was just doing breaking. Mm -hmm. Um. And I was getting ready for uh, for the um, for um, I was in the Italian team getting ready for the European Championship for the Olympics. Mm, as you do, as one does, of course, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> but then I separated my shoulder. I go injured and I couldn't compete anymore in an what? Olympics uh, situation. So I no. had to to leave the Olympic field <gasps> uh, because I'd been out for six months. So I lost the the European qualification and I lost the Italian uh, national yeah, championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but in the time that was injured, I started to to kind of say, okay, I need to unlock other skills. Yeah. So yeah. I start to unlock uh, skills in uh, softwares. Yeah. Skills in, like in social media. I start to like take care of a lot of my social media and mm -hmm. it blow up so much. Um, yeah, yeah. You, your social media is crazy. It like that's because I I dedicate time. You know, like he, he, I said, okay, I can dance, but I can probably unlock something they're gonna need later. So like it's always it's it's the same thing when uh, I was in COVID time and I said okay there is nothing to do so I'm gonna move to London and learn English, mm. you know like if if you have like if you think like you have a time that you can use like in a certain way or like you don't know how to use it just like you need just a switch mm. like you need okay 
I need to do something with it, mm. you know? Like, for me, of course, it was like I was feeling very bad because I couldn't dance. Uh, so it was okay. I need to unlock something. So mm. I start to unlock, like, for example, I don't know how to maybe reach out to brands or maybe how to um, to create portfolio to send or maybe uh, how to to clean up my Instagram or, like, uh, maybe business-wise, uh, making more uh, plans and stuff like this, organizing more events. That's fun, though, isn't it? It's super fun. Like it's something <laughs> yeah. that I enjoyed it so much. Like yeah. and and then like then I and it's a game. It got me back. It's like a game, isn't yeah. it? You know. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And until you are curious and uh, you're always like willing to to know and you 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 really you're really hungry like to know things. Like mm. it's it's very exciting. Yeah. Um, and you're motivated. Just do it. Like you do it. Yeah. It feels like so so good, like in a lock in unlocking new new fields. Sounds to me like COVID was almost like a blessing for you just mm-hmm. to try new things and enjoy yeah. your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So when you when you um crazy's in crazy I mean is in how uh how you transfer your skill sets mm-hmm. into a, a almost like a template. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But as as you said, it's like you you just transfer your personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like as I dance, I also maybe I don't know edit videos. Yeah. Or like I because I I start to do like content for uh, businesses as well. This is my G, you know. She's <laughs> fucking on it. Like this this is this is my female equivocal right here, baby. I absolutely love it. Uh, keep six, going. Keep six, going. Six months of not dancing, it like it gave me so much like uh, yeah. free mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So like I start to do like uh, reels and content for businesses, like I'm working like through through all the people, be, uh, social media. Really? People were uh, asking me like, okay, you run my business uh, yeah. account, for example, and I was yeah. making uh, content for them. Wow. Um, and just like uh, you, I the way I dance, the way I talk, the way I edit, edit, the way they, they um, I do stuff, it just like always connect. Yeah. Like I have my style in I do editing. I have my style in dancing. I have my. It's just me like doing yeah. these things with the same passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do things that don't I don't like. It wouldn't work. No. And it would. I would feel like okay, I'm wasting time. Yeah, but it's also got to be within your own remit, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Like if you're, if you, for instance, uh, for instance, do the graffiti one, mm. you'd still have an understanding of it. Yeah. Because it's, or if it was a a, a, a sneaker company, you'd have an understanding of mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I remember that when I started to to practice also my tagging, I understand that actually, like I always do certain things like in the same way, mm. but because maybe like it's um, I like to see things on a, on a certain way, mm-hmm. you know, like we all have a, a style in, in yeah. tagging or like dancing. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Rapping. It's personal. But, yeah, it's personal. Like you, you can see like w- when you transfer your personality and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and how it's was important. that? And how? It, oh, yeah, because what it does is it's 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 the thread of style that you only you can create. Yeah, and it also makes you understand a lot about yourself. Like you can recognize yourself. You don't feel like you don't know who you are. Like you know who you are, and you see like in so many in so many different faces. Like I was talking with I was talking with my sister-in-law, and she told me like I can see like that you you did all you made all these videos like they have your style. That's like the biggest compliment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the biggest compliment. It's the biggest. Like, even when it's the, about dance, like, especially about dance, because it's the thing they dedicate the most yeah. of the time. But, like, when people say, oh, this is a lot about your style, I'm like, mm. tell me more. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, keep that coming, baby. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, because when also other, you arrive to, to other people, means, like, okay, let uh, me know what, what you get, because it makes me understand even more. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I want to know what's, what's your pers- uh, prospection, you know? A perspection mm. like if you tell me like i mean like, oh, okay so you got this from me like okay i i need to to keep working on this mm. because it's what people like also seen from me and i'm happy they arrives and it's like something that it makes me clear up my mind mm. okay this is the point this is the point um when you see it in everything like it's amazing like and also in any way it's all uh um it's all like uh, it's all a creative, yeah. you know, dancing or like reels or like uh, all these things that are all, all, a lot about like your creativity. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, do you think there are enough 
identifiable right what we're talking about here actually is you you understand style self-confidence you understand what you need to put your fingerprint on a, a a certain piece of media or your own actions on the floor do you think there's enough people out there that really tune in to their individuality and their own style with everything that they do you can see if people do it like sometimes uh when i see a dancer mm. dancing mm. and then i get to know them mm. i'm like now i get why you dance like this really okay tell yeah. me g- give me give me like a couple of people where you're just like <laughs> they are exactly how they dance okay for example bruce almighty okay bruce almighty <laughs> okay. like uh you you can see like how he builds his, uh, his way to dance <laughs> yeah. and his creativity and the way they really like, kind of like, almost like kind of a joke on, on, on you when he dance. And he's the same person like when you talk to him, like you can talk to him and like he, he's just gonna, gonna play with you like from the beginning until the end. God, I love and that. And it's like you're so connected with what you're talking about. Yeah. Like you're the same person on stage and on real life. Mm-hmm. In real life, the same. Um, another person, let me think. <laughs> there are so many. Yeah. Literally so many. Um, Bruce Almighty is just the one that popped in my mind because, uh, I mean, he's like a, yeah, a yeah, real yeah. character. Um, you know, I, you know, Prince... Yeah. He has that. Same, same. Prince, <laughs> like, he feels super cool and he will dance like he's the, he's the, the coolest uh, in, yeah. in the city. And he's lively. He's like, you know. Yeah, you, 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 you know. by your eyes. Like, he, like, when I see him, I don't think, like, oh, he thinks he's cool. No, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he because just even, even in, in real life, he's cool. Yeah. You know? So, like, he, he just, his personality is into breaking. It's not that, like, his personality is, is like this in person, but then mm. in breaking, he's all shy and he's all, like, yeah. ugly. No, he's cool, you know. So like you can you can tell. Mm. So it's so connect. Prince is one of like he's a good example. Slick Johnny as well, mm-hmm. um, or like so many people. Um, wow, now I have like mm-hmm. <laughs> pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, actually, Prince was a uh, was the best the best example because we know mm, both know, we know him. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you think people uh, outside of breaking? identify individuals like that because a lot of times it's in those kind of more clubby environments where you know if they're not drinking they're kind of the music is their soundtrack um and then they see break dancing and they're like oh break dancing you know but do they do they do, do does a style of a b boy or b girl resonate with them do you think they see that identity Normal people. Yeah. P- yes. Members Normal of public. People. Yes. <laughs> Mops. <laughs> um, like uh, I feel that now is is cooler mm. to see to see dancers. Yeah. At the beginning, like maybe um, it's not because it's a breaker's fault, mm-hmm. but like it's it's a lot about the way that you approach to people. If you look, yeah. if you wanna go to people and you look all. Uh, Gangsta, like mm. maybe people they don't they would like it. If no. you look cool, like Prince, then people they would like be solid. like, Ooh. yeah, I mean, like, solid, <laughs> super approachable as well. Yeah. <laughs> if if you if you go like if you go in a party and you look like Prince, then like yeah, people <laughs> they would be he's cool, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, he can dance okay. and he and he just cool and he smell nice, like he, he, will, he will approach to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I do get that. I do get that. And I think it's it's to make the best of any environment because those floors when you're in the circle. When you're in a cipher, then people around you, you've almost got to have them on side, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, oh. like, of course, like, if you're a dancer, you want to check, like, you have a, you know, a space and you don't want to bump on people. Mm. <laughs> so what's it like getting into the circle? What's it like getting into the circle and there's a whole heap of dancers and the crowd is crazy? This isn't a competition. This could be, like, a regular place, Cypher, you know. Yeah. Street Culture HQ, for instance, yeah. in one of those kind of environments. But the intensity, and you're like, oh, my God, let's get this done. What goes through your head? I mean, like, that you don't want to dance, or, like... Perhaps it's it's just this feeling of um, pressure, anxiety. Not that you don't want to dance, mm-hmm. but you know a lot of what you've been going through in competing 
mm-hmm. has led you to this point of managing those emotions? I think like, so competing and sci-fi, they are so different. Okay. They are very different. Like when you compete, you have, you have a lot of pressure. And uh, in uh, and actually, I've been enjoying your jam because I can just go and dance. Yeah. I don't have to think oh, about w- what I have to do. Yeah. I ju- there is just the music, and, mm. and especially if, if it's full of people, mm. you just want to get down. Yeah. I mean, at the beginning, maybe you go to the party, you want to look cool, you don't want to like mm. get dirty, but then like you're like, mm, I actually want to get down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, like, read, you read my mind. <laughs> yeah, like and also maybe there is you beatboxing, yeah, and maybe yeah. there is a good DJ, so like you are like, oh, this track. Yeah, that's and, the way uh, it should be. And you wanna you wanna just get down. Like it's one of the 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 best things like uh, about hip hop mm. like the the cypher well, and, and feeds each other all genres feed each other yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true man yeah there is a good music you want to dance there is an mc like you want to you want to dance like there is like a like there are people there and, mm. and like there is like the energy and maybe like someone start dancing and then like maybe someone call you out and mm. maybe like there is the energy oh, <laughs> i want maybe like i want to smoke the person yeah, you know yeah yeah uh, so, so what you're saying essentially is that you never feel alone when you're in that space no never no, never never until uh, the music stops like it's all fun and big up by the way d-lo swifty hooch um yes blue yeah uh yeah that's some um, that's something to think about what's your future what is the future for you solid um okay i wanna i see like that i really want because i'm i'm i'm, I'm young mm. i really want to push in breaking and and uh and reach all the big stages and all the biggest opportunities I can mm-hmm. and enjoy it and travel around the world and get like the maximum of the experience from this. Because I think as a dancers, we are very blessed. Mm. We are blessed like to, to get to travel the world. If it wasn't for breaking, I wasn't traveling the world. No. I was still in Catanzaro, That's in the right. city, you know? That's crazy like, when you think the about sun. it, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, and I always say to my friends, I will always say like, imagine if you were not dancing, probably... We were just like, I don't know, like reading a book um, yeah. on, on the, I yeah. don't know. Or on a building site. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong in reading a book. But no, like, no. You know, like when you don't get to... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when, <laughs> Always read books. <laughs> Always. Yeah, read books. <laughs> <laughs> but when you don't get to, to see like what life looks like outside of your city, like what's mm. all the realities, like it's just amazing when you see like, for example, for example, two weeks ago when I was in Japan and I was like, wow, like he's... It's amazing to feel like I'm here because of breaking. Yeah. Because I'm working here, because I'm competing here, because I have friends here, yeah. because I connect and I built in yeah. these years to to arrive here, mm. you know? Mm. Um it's, it feels like crazy. And I wanna and I wanna like keep traveling the world and getting all these experiences. Like knowing that like I left I I been living all my twenties, like mm-hmm. having my having the best out of it, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. Um so I see myself like doing this. Um, I see myself as a like in a business uh, kind of side as well mm-hmm. uh, because like having also an influence from my brothers like I feel I'm influenced from them a lot in a good way mm-hmm. because of course they want the best for me and they see like they, they got me because like they they've been competitors as well they, mm. they, they did fair bartending oh, on wow. a high level so like they've been in a competition field you know, so like they 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 get what what I do. That's crazy. And actually, I took the inspiration from them in competing. Yeah, that's like dope. I saw like oh like you are so dedicated. I want to be like this. Yeah, like you know? that. Um, and uh, I, w- I want to have a business like uh, a good business. Um, I like um I like the fact that I've been collaborating with a lot of brands. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's something that I never thought about it. It just like came up. And I'm and I and I feel blessed for it because London also is also because I mean London is a big city and it gives a lot of opportunities and I'm happy that I've been connect uh, enough to to get these opportunities. Mm-hmm. Um, I like living in London. Uh, I if I'm gonna stay here forever, I don't know mm-hmm. because a lot of people ask me. They say, "Oh, you come from the sun and like this and that and this and that." And you're you're. Living oh, what do you mean? You don't like the rain? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I still love London. I still love London mm. because I mean, like living. Uh, mm. I mean, this blessed life is uh, is no take. I don't take it for granted, mm. you know. Um, but for sure, like I, I would like to later on have like 
living in a sunny place. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or don't like maybe, I don't know, like we will see. Yeah. Um, this is what I'm seeing at the moment. Yeah. You're visioning it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're, you're extremely grateful and in the things that you do and that you're enjoying. And, and yeah. it just appears to me that your, your path is already written. Because I come from a place that also I had nothing. So like moving in this place that there is a lot, of course, I'm like, if Let's it's go. here, if it's here, then like, why not working on this? Mm. Uh, if if you you come from a place where there's nothing or you build mm. or you you just like go, go for, for a place where it can give you something. Mm. So at the beginning, like I started uh, when I was living in Italy, I... Um, with another dancer, with another dancer that was here, we were like two people dancing, doing breaking mm, in my city, mm, me mm. and uh, this guy. Mm. Um, we grew up like a new generation of mm. uh, b-boys and b-girls. They're, they're still dancing and traveling, mm-hmm. and I'm glad. Like uh, they came also to UK Champs last uh, year. Uh, nice. Like they they travel a lot. Um, so I'm glad to see them dancing, and they got something to the new generation of my city. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on the other side, I saw like that for me, that I was 20 years old mm-hmm. and I was like the, the old generation for me, it, it sounds weird, you know, mm-hmm. like I, I, I was okay. I need to grow. I need to study. I need to go somewhere else. So I came here and I've been studying with a lot of people. I get into, co- I get, I got to connect with a lot of dancers, uh, travel, like growing up, speaking English, mm-hmm. like a, a lot of things that they make, made me grow. Mm. So of course, like I wanna, I wanna go where, I, where I see me growing. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Because like I mean, like there is so so many things to do, yeah. so many things to learn, so many things to see, so many things to experience. Like so, whatever like the path, like I feel it. Like okay, this makes sense. When I when I know that I have to move, I will move. Mm-hmm. But like at the moment, London is giving me so much, and uh, I'm still like need to to learn and and, yeah. and really like uh, grow yeah and also i mean i, I said as i said like i have my family so like it's a bless yeah 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 it's even um, better, isn't it? i mean like i feel i feel grateful for all this yeah so of course because i'm grateful i'm motivated i see a lot of your 20s in my 20s and it's incredibly <laughs> inspiring that you're uh, you're doing what you're doing and uh more prosperity more opportunities and uh and greatness thank you to you solid <laughs> absolute g thanks 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 well, there you go. If you ain't inspired by that, and you have some severe problems, with Solid about to show you on the dance floor and in <laughs> multimedia and business and beyond. Uh, B-Girl Supreme. Um, yeah, I'll kill a kind of podcast. Out like it was out of fashion. Serves you all right. Yeah, sharing is caring. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Um, and yeah, stay lucky, people. Cheers, Solid. Peace. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>